If you are spending time building a website, then you very likely would like that website to be able to be found by our good friend, Uncle Google. Listen, search engine optimization is incredibly important. Whether you are building a hobby website, a website for a business, whether you have services or products or a cause that you are championing, no matter what, the goal of having a website is to have a digital doorstep that you can welcome people across when they have questions or search something that is relevant to the community you serve. But is there one website builder that comes out ahead of the rest in terms of its SEO prowess? Yeah, there is. And the one that I recommend is always, hands down, WordPress. Now, before you run away screaming, because I know that sometimes the reaction, I'm going to explain why. But before I do, I want to be really clear. Listen, if you're in it for the long haul, if you are committed to building out a website that can be found by Google, which is a six to 12 month play for a new website where you are crafting content with intention and dotting some I's and crossing some T's that are going to help your website appeal to Google, then you really want to invest time in the learning curve around a platform that you are going to stick with. That said, if you're just a hobbyist, you can pick any website builder you want because it's probably going to be a little bit of a lark. You don't have a ton of time. However, if you're serious about getting found on the internet, I recommend WordPress and here's why one word. And that is control. With WordPress, yes, the learning curve is steeper than with a Shopify or Squarespace or Wix instance. However, you have far more control over some of the metrics that Google really cares about. I have a free three part DIY website audit and I walk you through this, but right here, I am going to show you the one Google property that I would go to if you already have a website and you are doubting whether or not you need to upgrade anything. And that is page speed insights. Google's page speed insights will point to some of the technical issues that are on your site. And what I find when I work with clients who have a Squarespace or a Wix or a Shopify website is that they often don't load as quickly as a WordPress site. I'm going to show you a couple of examples. This is a PageSpeed Insight report from a Wix website. This is the PageSpeed Insight report from a Squarespace site. This is a PageSpeed Insight report from my site, which is of course a WordPress site. Now look, you don't have to have every single thing fixed on your site to have it rank in search, not by any stretch. However, as a WordPress owner, I have far more control over how fast and how well my web pages are loading because I can download plugins that help support their performance, especially in mobile responsiveness. So what I highly recommend is that if you are serious, you start with WordPress, you just dive in, you bite off more than you can chew. You learn how to develop a website or you hire somebody to develop a website and you just get it done. Because if you're going to be around for a while, you don't want to have to migrate later. That Squarespace site that I showed you, that is actually one of my clients. And right now he's in the process of migrating to WordPress. Now he's getting serious traffic. He's getting about 5,000 hits a month, but he is being feed to death by Squarespace. And so by moving to WordPress, he's going to have a sleeker interface. He's going to have more control and he's likely going to improve his performance in search because his site is going to be performing better on those technical metrics. He could not change over on Squarespace. So I guess the question is this, are you floating a trial balloon or are you in it to win it? If you're floating a trial balloon and you're just seeing how things go, then pick the easiest road, but know that you might have a migration down the line. If you are serious, then I would just start with WordPress. There are a number of WordPress developers that I know, love and trust, and I have linked them up below. So if you want to get a quote from somebody who is reasonable and knows what they're doing, then by all means, check them out. And if you're curious because you already have a website and you want to know how you're performing in search, highly recommend the free three part mini course I've developed called my DIY website audit. 
come on over to the site, laurengagioli.com forward slash DIY audit, and I will see you there.